Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. We're talking to renowned South African author Marita van der Feyford this morning. She's releasing her first adult novel in five years, You Lost Me, the English language translation of Misverstand. Now this, her 13th novel, joins the canon of her acclaimed works such as Just Dessert, Dear, and Forget Me Not Blues. And she's joining us in, on our couch this morning to chat more about it. Marita, so good to have you here. Thank you. Um, I must tell you, your, your, your novels are absolutely absolutely amazing, but this is your 13th one, You Lost Me, which is basically the story of two South African companions who find themselves in Paris uh, during the 2015 attacks. What exactly was the inspiration for the story and did you draw any parallels from your own life? Well, I started writing it as a, as a, um, as a writer who's in a little bit, it, was, it feels like a bit of a has-been, which is hopefully not <coughs> myself. No, definitely. Um, and he's publishing under a pseudonym, yeah. um, a kind of soft porn, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, yeah. um, under a female pseudonym, and he finds himself in Paris for the launch of this book. Not knowing, but he's so fed up with things that he's thinking, actually thinking of writing himself off mm -hmm. instead of writing another novel. Um, and then, of course, the terror attacks happen, and he and the South African au pair, young girl, um, are in a way caught up in that and spend yeah. a weekend wandering through through a strangely traumatized Paris. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you have a narrow escape like that, you rethink your life. Definitely, mm -hmm. yeah. definitely. Now, you write mostly in Afrikaans, and then your books are translated into English, and you know what they say, do you think that the translation changes things in some way? Except some, some things <laughs> are just, um, especially some swear words yes. in Afrikaans, you don't find them anywhere True else. Story. But I do think, I, I'm fortunate that I've got a very good translator and Elise Fisser. Yeah. A lot of credit goes to her. It's the fourth book we're working on together. And, and you know, that really helped, plus a good editor mm -hmm. at Penguin. Um, and yeah, no, I'm, I'm very, yeah. very happy with this. I love it. English. Now, you write for various generations, from young children to young adults to adults. Um, I catch them when they're still kind of babies with exactly. picture books, and then they know my name, and they keep on reading I love me. it. I love I it. So. Get them while they're young. Yes. Um, how do you change your approach for each novel? Um, it all depends, you know. I also write um, movie scripts and wow. radio plays, so each genre is different, and, 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 but each one has its own challenge. For instance, for kids, I try not to s ever censor myself, but there are yeah. certain things, or even with teenage fiction, you have to be more careful about the way you say it. Yeah. Um, and, and with adult fiction, you can really go all out and yeah. say everything. Um, and in movie scripts, again, it's very, well, that's a specific uh, thing and you have to think visually. Yeah. And with the radio, you have to, like, write for the blind. So, but each has its own challenge and that's what I like because I live from my writing yeah. and I can't just live if I publish a novel every, an adult novel every five years. Yeah. So. Now, I know that you've lived in France for a few years. Do you think that that's kind of influenced your writing and will you ever publish a book in French? Um, I cannot imagine that because <laughs> writing a shopping list in France um, still after all these years yeah. is, I'm always, I, when I used to write notes for my kids when they're in school, you know, write a note when they're sick, I always used to ask my seven-year-old son or daughter to just check the excuse oh. note I write to the teacher and, so that the teacher doesn't think the mother is really <laughs> stupid. Je suis so, désolée. Yes. Uh, Marita, thank you so much for joining us on the couch this morning. It's been absolutely amazing. I've hung on everything that you've said and Lovely. I can't wait to read You Lost Me. Lovely. Thank you. So, well, we certainly weren't lost. This was amazing. If you want to catch uh, some of Marita's other projects, then you can visit www.maritafunderfeyford.info and go and check out You Lost Me as well.